tonight's video has gone out a little while ago. We hope you enjoyed it. We're now going to bed, aren't we? Yes. Or we're going to try and go to bed. We have a problem every, nearly every yeah, evening. So Flora is in the kitchen at the moment. We'd like the dogs to sleep in the kitchen together. Merlo has gone outside earlier and is now behind these doors. Um, <laughs> he, he, he will do everything he can not to be in the kitchen. He will not come to the kitchen door and be let in at night. He will only try and come through this door to go into our bedroom. Yeah, so here he goes. Watch <laughs> this. bedtime. Well you'll see how much power I have. Look at this. Mm. Is it the claw? Right, here we go. Hold the uh. bottom. Hold the bottom. What do we say? Good night. Good morning. First job of the day. Bright and early. I'm in the van and I'm off to the dechettery. Woo -woo. Right then, let's get it unloaded. Well, that was fairly straightforward. Ah, now, of course, everyone's coming in, so will I get the van out? Where were you going? Now, off to a Brico shop. I think that's them over there. Right, well, that wasn't too dramatic. Whoa, uh, right, home get these unloaded. This is a pizza vending machine and we've never tried it yet but one day it's going to happen. I'm out in the rear walled garden with the pool this morning and I'm going to have a chat to you quickly about this. Now this is a hanger or a huge barn or whatever you want to call it and we've had a few people say what can you do about this corrugated metal area. To start with I need to take you somewhere else first. I've brought you out to in front of the Maison de Maitre onto a patch of land that's basically owned by our version of the council. There's grass could do with a bit of a cut. Um, anyway, this is what is out the front of here. So we've got fields. Oh, 
and in the distance there is wind turbines and when you come over here to the road that goes down to our gates there is this sign on the wall in passe de leoniel if i've said that wrong i am terribly sorry and this sign translates to dead end wind turbine and we both think that at some stage in this house's history that in the front walled garden there could have been a wind turbine that would have somehow aided the production of cognac or wine or to pump water so it can get a little bit windy around here when we originally moved in this area which we've painted this week all of this side was covered it was covered with the corrugated metal and with like a corrugated plastic and then behind me here you have a door as well and all of it was closed off so since then we've now taken down this complete section of wall and we're a little bit hesitant about doing it because of the wind and nobody wants to sit and eat their dinner or have some enjoyable relaxing time in a wind tunnel. So to look at it, it may not be the most prettiest of buildings, um, but I'm gonna give you a little bit of a close up of this because I don't know what you can really see on camera. Yep, we've got the corrugated metal. Some of it's a little bit rusty, but you could look on a different side, glass half full, rustic. Now we've also got this big, big grapevine. Now this must have been here for years and years and it's really mature. This is staying. If you look up here, this is all individual slate tiles. And I'd say that's kind of in a, in a herringbone pattern. This must have taken somebody hours and hours to do. Further down here, there is a concrete pad that used to be um, like a chicken shed. Now, I have got a plan of something that's going there. At the moment, this border has obviously been planted slightly. Here we have a banana tree that will shoot up at some point. And behind the shower, this week, I've planted a couple more bougainvillea. I've got a wisteria which is in this border as well that's for somewhere else that I will tell you about in a minute because if I leave that there there's a risk of it damaging the machine and I don't want it to take over too much and damage this grapevine however when I was at the garden centre I did get a huge climbing jasmine for this area if we were to take down this corrugated metal, it could effectively turn the whole of this garden into Windy Corner. And I don't want to do that, and I don't want to risk it. The other thing that I won't take you in the barn and show you, but it is there behind where this is, on this wall here, is all of the electrics and substation for operating the pool. Also, we need somewhere to store the van and the van will only fit into this hangar. Don't want to be in a lovely swimming pool looking at the back end of a van. The hangar has got to stay, but in this garden, there will be things that draw your eye away from it. I will tell you what is going to go from here da, 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 all the way down to where that rake is is going to be two pergolas and the wisteria that I've kept in the ground there is to trail up the pergola along with some other trailing plants to provide shade and like a patio terraced seating area that can have a little bit of shade because cobbler I mean the sun does 
get really, really hot and really, really bright round here until about seven o'clock when it's all past the building and past the hangar. Um, it's going to be a really exciting project and that's where Mr Butcher has gone this morning to pick up two of these pergolas. It's going to be big <laughs> and I think it will draw your eye away from this hangar. Another little known Another fact that I will tell you is that we actually had to apply for planning permission for this pergola because it was over a certain size. And with it being over a certain size, you also get taxed on it annually. So I hope that that answers your questions about the hangar and a little bit about what will happen with the garden out the back there. Anyway, time that I cracked on with some work getting hot today. Right, well, I'm back out in the van again. This time I'm going to a different Brico shop. Um, I'm going there over lunchtime because it's quieter at the shop and it's actually a, one of the few shops that is open at lunchtime. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go pick up a pergola or two. That's all done. I've just been into the big shop and bought some outdoor sockets and some other little bits and pieces. But of course, being lunchtime, there's only one checkout open. So there's a queue for the checkout, and the queue at the front has got a lady who's paying by check. It's treat time, isn't oh. it? Oh. That big one can be for you, Mr. Merlot. Got it? Have fun. And this more ladylike shaped one can be for you. Sit. Thank you. Have fun. My aim for today is to try and get all of this ivy off of this part of the wall and then see how time goes and maybe even hopefully try and get the paintbrush out. I also... Somebody has now returned from collecting the pergolas and is now changed. And unloaded and... Um, awaiting further instructions, probably. Can you shave? <laughs> mm, maybe tomorrow. You're going to be static with that. <laughs> Ooh, uh. <laughs> anyway, uh, I have now removed all of the ivy from here. And I've got to let you know, there was a lot of ants in there. <laughs> After all of that hard work and enthusiasm today on this new wall project, 
we've hit a little snag. What's the little snag? You'd think if I went to two Brico shops, I might have bought some paint. You would think that, wouldn't you? Anyway, run out of time today. Um, join us tomorrow because we are taking you out, out somewhere again. But thanks for watching and we will see you tomorrow.